Hi, uh, today we are going to talk about how to submit your uh, handwritten work to Canvas. Uh, we are going to talk about how to submit your work uh, to Canvas via the Canvas Student app. Make sure you have that on your phone or, or your tablet or whatever smart device you have. And then we will talk about how to submit it uh, to Canvas via the website. Okay, so um, if you don't have access to a flatbed scanner, uh, lucky for you, we have uh, the technology at our fingertips. So I'm going to be using a, a app called Tiny Scanner. When I got it, I, it was like five free scans or something like that. And then I need to pay five bucks for it for the pro version. Um, I think I read it's free now, but I don't know. Don't quote me on that. Uh, if you are using a different scanning app please don't disregard this video i promise you will get a use of it it's just uh, i didn't want to download like every single app app scanning app okay all right so we're gonna scan it however you want using your whatever scanning app you have if you're using tiny scanner you you hit the picture I uh, icon and then you hit the picture again take picture and then uh, Tiny Scanner uh, gives you a suggested cropping, and I, I like it, so I'm gonna hit the check mark. Before I do, let's look at the size. Uh, you could change it to different sizes, but we want to do letter size. So we hit the check mark, and then um, you you play with the saturation or have whatever word I'm trying to look for. Okay, it's like two thirty seven in the morning, so the words are hard for me to say. Okay, so I think that's pretty dark. Students, make sure that the grader, which is the instructor, in this case me, uh, can see your work. If you submit it light, there's no way that uh, we can we can see your work. If you submit it in color, color is nice. It looks kind of weird because I used a highlighter. But uh, yeah, so I'm going to just submit it black and white in the darkest setting, which will make it easier on the eye. I'm going to hit the check mark. And then I'm going to uh, name this. I'm going to call this uh, quiz six. I'm going to hit the check mark. Fantastic. And then um, I want to take another picture because this is a two page quiz. So uh, let me go ahead and take picture. It's, it's the, uh, the same quiz. It's just I hand wrote it so to give students an alternative um, if they don't have access to a printer I ask that they write a pertinent information okay but that's another issue let's make this video short I'm gonna take picture again because I want to take picture of this cool and then um, I like how it's cropped I'm gonna hit check mark oh wait yeah I'm gonna hit the check mark and then um, it's in black and white. I want to make it the darkest setting so it's easier to darkest and legible setting. We'll hit the check mark. And I think we're good. So um, then um, you have some options in terms of how to turn it in. You can send it to yourself so you can download to a computer or laptop, whatever. And then use the Canvas website. But we are going to submit it uh right now you know without having to download it to our pc we hit share and then uh, make sure you export it as pdf not jpeg um, i don't have the canvas app listed right here so i'm going to look for more and then i'm going to look for the canvas app okay it's loading this is what happens when you have slow internet let's take a pause Cool. and we're back okay so we're gonna click on submit assignment and um, I'm enrolled in three math classes just kidding um, I added myself as a student you click on whatever class you're looking for and then uh, you, there's a drop down if you have more than one assignment then click on the one you want to submit for this course there's only one assignment so I click on that hit next and then as you can see, uh, I saved the PDF as quiz six. So that's that's what it's gonna submit. And then we're gonna hit turn in. And it says uploading. And it would be nice if I saw a confirmation like success, but that didn't happen. So that makes me a little bit nervous. So I'm gonna log into my Canvas student. Uh, that's for another course that I was testing out. Uh, I'm going to look for the class that I just submitted the quiz for, which is this one right here. Uh, assignments. Quiz 6. 
and as you can see it says submitted so this is fantastic it also gives you the option to res resubmit assignments so uh sometimes the instructor is an overachiever and uh, grades it early but if your quiz hasn't been graded and and you still have time before the due date and you want to resubmit it go for it okay so i'm going to take a pause right here and then um, i'm going to show you how to submit it uh, if you did it directly through the canvas website so bear with me just a sec all right so now let's go ahead uh turn in that quiz um uh, we log on to canvas i'm logged in as a student so what i see is the students view uh because i already submitted uh, uh fake quizzes to the math classes that i'm enrolled in i'm gonna go ahead uh turn in uh, my quiz to this test course that i created okay so we click on it and then uh assignments i put two quizzes so i'm gonna click on the quiz that i want and as we click on submit assignment and then it says choose file and then you select your file that's my my fake quiz and then uh, submit assignment it's submitting and then that's it so i get confirmation submitted at this date at this time yeah it just revealed what time it is here in california uh, something that i want to point out is this uh when I submitted the quiz on the Canvas Student app, I didn't get a, a notification, like when you get notification for uh, your email or social media, whatever. So, and when I logged on to the Canvas Student app, um, it, said, it, said, it said that I had yet to submit the quiz, but I refreshed the screen and then it said submit it. Uh, so I think that's it. Uh, what I like about this is, is that it has resubmit assignments, so in case like, you found a mistake and then your quiz has yet to be graded, then go ahead and resubmit it. Okay guys, that's my time. Thank you.